Oh, right, how's it going, guys? And welcome back to Pokemon Rocket Edition. Uh, so we need to go find Shigeki, and he turns out that it's this old man here. Hey, hey, hey man, you need some help catch Pokemon, do you? Now, what's that, son? Garantina, take me. I knew this day would come sooner or later. That's right, young man. My name is Shigeki. Although it's been a decade since anybody called me by that name. Come inside if you would. You never know who might be listening in. Well, 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 after all these years. Confronted not by Lance, but by Team Rocket. So, Bill sent you. I should have seen you coming. My dear Rocket, I... I won't give you the information you're seeking, but please... Keep my whereabouts to yourself. I have a family to protect. Do you promise me that? Yes. Thank you, young man. I will not forget your kindness. So, I suppose it's time for me to come clean. You know that story? I suppose it's me too, Project. Well, somewhere amidst all our failed attempts to phone Mew, a brilliant idea occurred to me one day to rearrange things and use skate genes into a computer program. Convince the others to create a software Pokemon kin to board a gun. What we could program to do is that what we wanted. It would be our ultimate war machine. <sighs> but a project that size, with only with five of us, there were bound to be bugs in the program. I knew as much, but I didn't realize the magnitude of these glitches. Until the first specimen was ready for our eyes. A catastrophe. It was an abomination. Powerful, yes, but erratic and uncontrollable. It was as if its presence would distort the fabric of reality. Like nothing we'd ever seen. It was clearly too much to handle. It's probably no already. It made its escape in a violent frenzy. Thankfully, I had wireless safety mechanisms placed to stop it. The monster didn't get far before it was mobilized. Before I was able to immobilize it, put it to sleep. I told the others I had everything under control. When they asked me where the creature lay dormant, I said I didn't know. truth was, I knew it all too well. I was just too scared to admit to all these people that the catastrophe was heading right under our noses. Right along the eastern shore of Cinnabar Island, frozen beneath the ocean surface. I presume it would only be a matter of time before the creature would find a way to break free from the remote control and protection systems. Is this supposed to be missing now? But... Still hasn't. It was a stupid, reckless thing to create that traumatized us all to have been so close and to unleashing such an uncontrollable monster upon the world. And nobody would trust me to do anything by myself after that. But it's all in the past. For the present, young man, if it's really the other scientist's intention to finally lay the matter to rest. Then I will deactivate the safety mechanisms that are keeping it dormant. And leave you free to capture the monster. It would clear my conscience tremendously to know it's been dealt with. But if you fail, I don't know what havoc that creature could wreak on the region. There will be no turning back. So, are you ready to capture the catastrophe rocket? Very well. I will deactivate the software that's keeping it frozen. May our keys be with you. Now go, Rocket. Fly to Cinder Island and surf along its eastern shore. Capture that vile creature and lay this matter to rest once and for all. Is there supposed to be no music anymore? 
Okay, there's nothing. Oh. I want to talk to this kid that's just out here in the water. Hi, I'm not sure it's something easy to wear. Easy to... Oh. Oh. It's missing now. That was easy. <laughs> that clouds upside down. I don't know who's talking. Oh, oh that mission note. I think it was actually right here all along. Truly terrific. Now, have we played? Have we played with our lives long enough for you to us? God, when I saw the island change shape earlier, I thought for sure we were all done for. Now, let's end this madness and have that beast destroyed once and for all, eh? You're off your rocker, old man. What a waste would, would that be? Why, just imagine the power that lies in Evian's hands right now. He could dominate his way to the top of Team Rocket. He'd have a chance against the Leaf Four, even. Who in the world could stop us now? <laughs> it's a shame Blaine had to go to his gym to face some challenger. Just wait till he sees this. That's enough of that. If all, if all of you are going to keep that beast around, I'll stay as far away as I can. I'm done with you all, and you never saw me coming. You never saw me come here. You say you have no care for politics, Bill. You're as rotten as the rest of them. <laughs> Farfetched. Oh, Fuji. When did you grow so naive? You were such a bold, sharp scientist once. Team Rocket, the Elite Four. Don't you realize there are bigger powers to play here? Say, what's all this commotion? Hey! You're that rocket from the Pokemon Tower. My, you've changed. I just heard all these strange sounds coming from outside. See, I was busy wiping the floor with the old gym leader here. I thought for sure I must have been some legendary Pokemon or other, so I rushed to come see. Say what? You... you captured it, Rocket. That's too bad for me, then. Could you show me what it looks like, at least? No. Oh. Uh... No, it can't be. I've seen that Pokemon before. That was a long time ago. What? You you seen a missing now? That's impossible. Impossible. Where? Where did you see it? Speak up, kid. Oh, jeez. I don't remember it very clearly. I was just a kid. I was in a large basement area under Grandpa's lab where he was doing all these experiments. Of all the strange Pokemon I saw, I remember that one. Freaky. Basement area. In all my years collaborating with Professor Oak in his research, I never heard about this section of his lab. Could it be the the secret lab we talked about all those years ago? Well, gee, I don't know anything about that. This stuff. Come to think of it, I haven't been down there in many years. <clears throat> Why did Grandpa used to never leave that place when I was a little kid? I think he used to press a button on his bookshelf on the way, and the way to the basement would open up. Say, is there something dodgy going on here I should know about? No, 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 no. That's it. There's no question. Oh, why didn't you say all this earlier, you stupid kid? We need to go to Oak's lab in Pallet Town, post haste. This could be the key to everything. Evian, you lead the way. Until, we, until we've got something real to pin on Oak, we'll have to rely on some petty burglary. Heal up if you like, but get moving to Pallet Town. I don't want to heal, I want to look at Missing No Stands. And his moves. He's schmoovin'. 
it's just a person in the box. Silver Highland question mark. Flying and it's trace ability. Sky attack. Super glitch AO. Induces glitches in the fabric of reality that often freezes the foe. Psychic and confuser. I'm gonna leave you in the PC. Actually, I'm gonna go get Weezing out. Because Weezing is technically part of his team currently, whereas Seeking is not. Missing now we're in Oak's basement. Door's locked. Hmm. Oh. You! You, this innocent town, this minute, or I'll call the police. Scratches from your com can companion's ugly rest still haven't healed. I'll have you know. I'm sorry. He wasn't supposed to attack you. I don't enjoy talking to you. I'd like to be left alone, please. Oh, ransack your kid's basement. Kids me. And full of Pokemon books. What a nerd. What a nerd. Read Pokemon books. What a nerd. Okay, um. I asked you something in this house. Shows your full of books of Pokemon. Books of Pokemon. You're such a nerd. Dishes of plates! Dishes of plates! Smells delicious when you cook me. Tree? No. This tree? No. The painting! The painting! Hmm. Spirits of a true believer. Okay. Dude, to judge, man. Did you hear about the information you have? Pretty soon, we're gonna get to download and play all sorts of games. Check from the minds of lonely geeks about a game without a Game Boy. Talk about a new world, man. How do I... How does one get in here? Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. Do I need missing now to get in there? Let me go back here. to show we got to break in you must have taught you how to deal with something like that to the market, didn't they? Well I sure hope I didn't say anything I wasn't supposed to. Uh, okay. Crowbar I have a crowbar. I forgot about that. Well I've never had to use it before. Crowbar. Crowbar. It's that meddling pink haired rocket again. We're getting robbed. You stay away from this lab, scoundrel. I'll say it. Aids like us can bring you down, no problem. Brace yourself. 
You wanna try me? Aid Freddy. Ooh, a Kadabra. I'm not the same, boy. I also have a Persian. <laughs> And my Persian does faint attack! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! A Hypno! It's a Hypno Toad. I don't know. Hey, uh, what? Why didn't that do any damage? It didn't do any damage. There we go. Electrode. I have dig. Oh well. First, if you're just a little faster. Oh, let's go. Wait. I just mean Persis is gonna dig. <gasps> oh. Wait. Why aren't you digging? What? Because it fainted, it canceled the dig. That's dumb. <laughs> Let's go. I'm just neat. I've done my part. Professor Oak will not stay in for this. I'll have you know. Oh. Keep the thugs like you out. I don't want to fight you, but like my mother used to say, always be safe. That's an illegal Pokemon. That's the sound of the police. Hmm. I don't know where I can learn cards, to be honest. Psychic. Oh, he's got a muck. She's got a muck. A, she has a Hiroma Lady model, but she has a muck. Kind of funny, actually. Feel anything? No. It's outrageous. We're just doing our job.
He's in a bookshelf. These are bookshelves. No, I don't know what you could possibly want in a snap thief. We're adding nothing. We're clean. I like to try to sneak around and just immediately turn it around. Muck. Get that muck out of here. Do I know something funny? So, Fire and Leaf Green were my first ever Go One games. Still never beaten them. But, uh, the first Pokemon that I used my Master Ball on was a Weezin. I caught it in the uh, Sunbar. For some reason, I need to master ball on. I didn't believe that it could catch anybody once, so I was like, I'm gonna test it. And, uh, yeah. It worked. <laughs> it got the music. Negative. I'm gonna know like, there's nothing to see here. Nothing at all. Anyway, my dog finds out. Pokemon books. Grandful Pokemon books. Dot. Dot. Kind of secret twitch. Yes. Who wouldn't? Aha! Oh, I wanted to. Oh, I don't want to go in there yet. That is creepy. I'm gonna go talk to the uh, Arceus lady in here. in the episode here. I'm sorry. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.